Do you ever deal with having Excel files and a Google Drive folder and you need to get the data into Google Sheets, but you don't want to do it manually? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to write a script line by line that will do just that. It will get all the Excel files out of a particular folder. It will import the data into Google Sheets and then it will move those files into an archive folder once they're done processing. So that way you can set this up to run on a daily or weekly basis and process those files automatically. So here it's just finishing up on this data in. And so we have all the data in here now. And if we look over here, all the files got moved to the archive folder. So let's jump right in. So we'll start by creating the script on the Google Sheet by going to Extensions and App Script. And then while that's loading, the one thing we'll need from here is this ID from this folder. And so everything after that last forward slash. And so then in our script project, we'll just call this import Excel. And then before our function, I'm going to call this constant it's because I don't want this to change folder ID equals and then I'm going to paste in that folder ID just like that. And now I'm going to show you as well if you want to archive those files after you import them or if you want to delete them. But if you want to archive them, we're going to create another folder. It doesn't have to be within this folder, but we just need that ID as well. And so I'm just going to call that here. And so if you're going to delete it, you don't have to do this part. I'm just going to do this in case you do. So archive ID, we'll paste that one in there. I'm just gonna put in this tab name right here, just to make it easy in case it does change or in case you need to do whatever there. All right, so I'll show you how to add a menu to be able to run it from here at the end of the video, but I wanna show you real quick how this functionality actually works. And so let's start with our function here. We'll call this import Excel. And then what we need to do is get our folder. And so we'll do that using let folder drive app, get folder by ID. And then we can get that one that we saved there. And so that's gonna be the folder with these files. And then I can also get that archive folder as well. I'm just gonna copy and paste and put this in here. There we go. All right. So now we need to actually get the files. So we'll do let files equal, and we just need to get them from that folder. And we'll just get all the files. Um, let's do by type. And then what we're going to do is a mime type. And so I'm not going to go through all the mime types that there are available, but we're going to do mime type Microsoft Excel. And this is just in case you have other files in this folder, it's only going to get the Excel ones. As you might say, an excellent way to do that. Pardon the pun. All right, so within our files, I'm just going to use a while loop. This is uh, works great on these. And so while files has next, it's so a way this has a, a built in called iterator on this. And so this is the structure you do. So has next is querying, is there another file? And then I'll get that file there. We'll do Excel file equals files dot next. Um, and so if I just do files here, you can see continuation token has next and next. So I'm going to do next. And so what this will do is for all the files that we find, we're going to go through each one. And so this will represent the first file and then the second file and third file. Now one thing to keep in mind, is it won't necessarily go in order. So I don't know what the, how it determines which one it does first, but when I was testing this, it would pick like number three and then four and then one and so forth. So it doesn't necessarily go in any specific order. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna show you how to sort at the end. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into what's called a blob. So basically just this raw data and get blob just like that which is a great name by the way all right and so what we need to do and this is what's confusing with excel files if you watch my csv this is a very easy thing to do but 
with Excel, you do have to add the drive service. So under services, click that plus button, and then we need drive API. And then you can leave it as V3. That's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. And then go ahead and click add. And then it should show up here in a second once it's done adding, so there we go. So what this is gonna allow us to do is to use a new method, which allows the conversion. Because what we're basically gonna do is take that Excel file, convert it to a Google Sheet so we can extract that data. And so let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So let's just call it new temp uh, Google Sheet, and we'll do drive. So this is our services method. Normally within here, it's drive app like this. So we're using the service. And then what we're going to do is files and then create. So one thing, if you try and Google this, it says insert is the method, but they've changed that. So now you have to use create, which means this works a little differently, which is one of the reasons why I decided to create the video. So we have resource, which is a schema file, and then you actually attach the file. So I'm just going to say resource here. We're going to create that in a moment. And then I can take that blob. So this resource is what's called a schema file, which basically we have to tell it a little bit about what we're going to do. And so I'm going to define that before our request. And so what we do here is we use an object, curly braces, both left and right. And then in there, I'm going to specify a couple things. So I'm going to specify the name that we're going to use. And so I'm just going to get this file. And we're going to say get name. We're going to do a split based on a period. I'm assuming if you upload this, there's only going to be one period in that. And then I'm going to use this zero to get the first item. Um, and I can't use that semicolon. Let me do a comma. Okay. And so then I'm going to do mime type. And so I'm going to tell it what mime type I want to convert to. Um, this needs to be lowercase. There we go. Mime type, and then we're going to change it to Google Sheets. All right, so our resource is ready to go. That will tell it what it needs to know. And then from here, now all we have to do is open this Google Sheet, this new temp GS, and then get the data and bring it over to here. So let's go ahead and bring it back into the normal app script instead of this drive service. And so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to say SS new for our spreadsheet. And then we're going to open by ID. And then now we can do this new temp GS. And here's the different things we can get from it. So it's confusing the thing as a drive ID there, but we're just going to use the ID here for that. And then we're going to, we'll say sheet new. And then now we can do our SS new, get sheets, and I'm just gonna get that first tab. Now, if you have more than one tab on those Excel files, one thing to note is I'm only really designed this for getting the same number of columns. And so if you have ones with different number of columns and all that kind of stuff, you're not gonna wanna append it to a single data tab. You're probably gonna wanna create tabs. In which case, what you have to do is a little more in-depth process, but so let's go ahead and continue on. So let's get the data from there. And so sheet new, get range, and then do something like one, one, and then sheet new, get last row, sheet new, get last column. And then what I'm gonna do as well is currently we're getting everything, including the headers. So I'm gonna go ahead and shift this. And what the shift does is it removes the first element from our array. So that array is a table of data with rows and columns, right? And so what this is gonna do is remove that first row. Now all we need to do is we have our data, so we just need to add to our sheet. So now we need to get this spreadsheet. So I'm actually gonna do that up here. So we're not calling it every time. Uh, and spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet, and then let sheet get sheet by name. And we have that tab name right there. So I'll use that. All right, so now we have the sheet that we're going to append the data to. 
And so again, you will want to modify this based on if your data is different, you want it different tabs and stuff like that. So for example, if you needed to add a new tab for each Excel file, then you just do something like this, SS insert sheet. And so this could be the Excel file get name. And then you could copy, wait, let's see, let's do new tab here. And then you could do this new tab, set, uh, get range, and basically add those values. So that's just one thing if you needed to add a new tab for each one. But let me just do sheet, get range. And then I'm going to do sheet, get last row, because I want to append, plus one. And then let's start in column one. Number rows will be data length. So how many rows are in data? And then I'm going to probably just set it manually here, but we can use data and we can check that first row of the data and check the length. So um, this is the number of rows. And then it's checking that first row and saying, what's the length of that? So in other words, how many columns? And now we can do set values and data. All right, so that's the basics there. And then all we have to do now is potentially a little cleanup. So this will work as is, um, but we're not doing anything with Excel file after you process it. So that'd be a good thing to do. So there's two options that I'm gonna cover. One is to delete the file, which is super easy. All we do there is Excel file set trashed true oops if i can spell true correctly so that would be how you delete the excel file otherwise if you want to archive it we'll do excel file and we're going to do move to and then we have that archive folder right there so start typing that in should pop up and that's how you move it to the archive folder all right so one more thing i'm going to show you how to do so my example I have index, different fields. Now, I told you before, it doesn't necessarily bring these in order. Now, these files have a sequential index. And so I'm gonna show you how to do a sort. Now, if you have a specific column, maybe you have a date column that you want in order, something like that, I'm just gonna show you how to do that real quick. So once we're done, if you notice, I'm out of this loop here. So once we're done processing the files, then I'm gonna do something here, get range, and then I'm gonna start a row two. That's, I'm going to ignore our header row. And then first column, sheet, get last row. I'm gonna do negative one to count for my offset here. And then sheet, get last column, just like that. And now I'm gonna do a sort. And so in the sort, you do an object and you specify the column. And if you want ascending or descending. So I'm gonna do column, one ascending true there we go so what this is going to do is sort from smallest to largest largest based on that index so again if you have a date it's in column one you can do that let's say your date was in this field and that's where you want to sort by and you just need to see what column that is so i can count or i can do equals column so seven so i could do seven there and then that would sort it from oldest to newest now if you want to flip that around and newest to oldest then you do that so let me go ahead and reset this column one all right so before i run this i'm going to show you one more thing we can do here i'm going to add a little toast and this is just going to let us know where we're at let me do back tick here because i'm going to use the template literal so let's do processing and let's do Excel file, get name. And then we're going to do a title of this toast. And then tell it how long we want to run. I'm going to do negative one because it's just going to keep it up. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add another toast. What this does, it'll, I'll show you here in a second. It's going to pop up in the lower right and tell us the progress. So here I'm just going to say completed successfully and success message and i'm going to do like five seconds so something like that should work so all we got to do now is run this um let me go ahead and do one more thing i'm going to add a menu and so if you don't need the menu you can go ahead and 
and run this as is. I'm going to show you how to add a menu to the sheet as well, so you can run it from there. So on open, on open will run anytime the Google Sheet is opened. So function on open and then let UI. So we're accessing the user interface and then spreadsheet app dot get UI and then UI create menu and we'll just call this Excel script. And then we need to add an item and then this would be, let's say, get Excel data. And there's two things, the caption or the title, and then we got a link to this function name. And so comma, and then inside quotes again there. And then add the UI. So the structure here is create menu, and we add a title. And then we add this dot or period, and then add item, and then period, and then add the UI. And then we close it out. All right, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and authorize it from here. And I'm going to trigger that on open menu. So run. And this is what it'll look like for you as well. Let's review permissions. Select our account. Now, this is the only thing that sometimes freaks people out. Basically, this is Google's legal disclaimer because they did not do the programming. So they want you to do your due diligence and not sue them if something happens. Obviously, if you just program this, you're going to be fine. So you go to advanced, go to import in Excel. And then this is their new flow. Make you select all for what you want to do and then continue. And now it should go ahead and run. There's our Excel script. So now we can go ahead and test this out. Make sure I didn't do any typos. So there's it's processing five first. And I did have a typo. Well, I just missed something. So here's the data and I got the range. I did not get values. So there we go. And then one more thing real quick that I just noticed is I'm creating a temporary file, but I'm not deleting it. So we will want to delete that before we get done here. So I'm going to just go ahead and drop it in here. So we have this new temp GS. So let's just do this. We'll do drive app, get file by ID, and then we'll get that new temp GS ID. And then we'll do set trashed true. I'll make sure we clean up our temporary files as well. Now let's try this run this again. Excel data should run now. So processing number five first. You can see the data pop up here in a moment. And we can actually check this one as well. You can see those files are going to the archive. It should be I think done now. Yep. All right. So it already sorted. There's our index. We scroll down. I had a thousand in each file. So five thousand five files. So it got all that data in there. Everything ran successfully. And they are all now moved from this main into the archive file. So one thing. I'll show you to wrap up here is often what you want to do is do something like this and you want to run automatically when files are dropped in here. So there's not a way to watch a folder natively. So the easiest way to do something like this is go to triggers and then create a trigger. Make sure you tie it to that import Excel one. And then you can do a time driven. And so here you can select if you want to run every day. You can select time of day you want to run, just hit save. Um, you could select, I want to run every Monday or every Saturday, something like that. Um, and they'll give you an hour range that'll run between. So between midnight and 1 a.m. it'll run. Obviously you have all these different schedules. You can run it more quickly. Um, you can run it, you know, every minute. Um, you might run out of time in that case. They might slow you down. But typically if you do something like this and you did something like 5, 10, 15 minutes, um, that'd be great. And then what I'll do is when there's files added here, it'll pull them into your Google Sheet and then dump them into the archive. So that is it for today's video. If this was helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.